full-fledged character. See, I'm not hearing it. What his move set could have been. This move set could be whatever you want. In mere imagination is the players. limit. Yeah. Sakurai's imagination. But no, now we have a, an outfit. So Link Roy, this is a, uh, I love these types of matchups. You got a swordy versus like a projectile character. Yeah. I mean, Link's got a sword too, but like primarily the way Roy is, it's a lot of whiff punishes, a lot of pressuring you, covering options with your sword. And then the way Link plays, at times he can use his disjoint. We're gonna see some forward air, some tilts, but just watching Roy get in and stay in and having Orange try to keep him out and pick his openings without getting punished. In okay, both of recovery. these guys, I, we recently saw them in, in Buffalo for Quincher Friendlies 3. Black Twins getting second, Orange getting fourth, I believe. Fourth, yes. I should know. I, I definitely headed him the envelope with, the, with his placing on it. But regardless, these two are both super skilled ranked in Ontario. And okay. I was really well spaced forward there. Even if you yeah. blocked it, that, that was definitely safe. For sure. And Link is like. Link is one of those characters that is sort of sneaky good now. He's not like insanely popular, which is weird because usually Link is like the number one, like, yeah, I play Link type type character. Link like the, and Kirby. The favorite casual character. Yeah, the casual favorites. Yeah. But now, now that Link is actually like an actual character, people are saying, oh no, I, I don't want to play him. <laughs> Oh, raw run up F tilt. Called him out on. I think he was starting a boomerang toss. Yeah, uh, maybe. I, I thought I thought Orange might have been going for an F tilt of his own. That's gonna be a big punish. Yeah, when you when you miss those up B's out of shield, that that hurts. Regardless of what character you're playing, like if you have one of those, like Bowser does, you miss oh, one yeah. of those, you're you're eating like you're eating something big. Same with Link. It's even worse because like there's not. There's not like a hitbox throughout that up B when uh, it's on the ground like that. Through so, links? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it persists for a little while, but it's so weak. It's Getting hit by it's not intimidating at all. Yeah. Okay, back out of shield. So, well, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, he rolled there. That is something that Orange likes to do, is uh, to hold down when he does his up B so that he doesn't snap and threatens ledge. That was a, uh, that was one of those texts that started in Smash 4 that people tried to name. Wow, wow. that was clean. Yeah, super clean offstage play there from Black Twins. Gets rid of the bomb. He doesn't want it. I, that doesn't surprise me. Most pe most people will do that because like, what am I gonna do with this? This isn't mine. Yeah, I mean, if he's ready for it, he can also just blow it up, and then like grab it after. But uh, depends on what he's expecting to do. Ooh, he tried a, he tried a Twitter combo. Uh, Z drop, uh, re grab with forward air. Yeah. That, uh, I don't know if it's a true infinite, but it's it's definitely a long lasting combo that can set up into up B. You can literally drag them across the stage and kill them. It's it's something that he is capable of. Doesn't yeah. do it very often, but he's capable of it, which is, if you're if you're uh, Black Twins, <laughs> that is terrifying. For sure. I've, I've seen it happen. It's not, it doesn't look fun. Um, it feels like I'm getting wobbled. Yes, the the fact I remember when they first uh, made Link's bombs remote instead of like just a regular like timed bomb, and I thought, wow, this is how is this gonna affect like the way people use it? Because normally it was just like grab a bomb, with the bomb blow up, throw the bomb, and somebody blow it up like that. And now it's just like now I'm gonna hold the bomb for 10 minutes and uh, I'm gonna Z drop it a million times, and somehow you're just gonna die, or <laughs> or things like that. So so sick. I think I think good item play is wow. Good up tilt there to catch him on the platform. But I think good uh, I think good item play is one of the things that's like severely underrated by people. People always tell me, oh yeah, Pac-Man's not hype. Like okay, when Pac-Man hits a bell to an F smash, I, I get it. Like we've seen all we've that. We've seen stuff the paralyzer before. boost kick. It's just a projectile now. Yeah, but the stuff that the stuff that like Link can do is. The novelty hasn't worn off yet. I'll say that because I know there's probably some people who want to say, "Oh yeah, well." But, I mean, if you fought orange, orange, maybe you don't like it so much. But if you're watching it, oh how yeah, you not enjoy the like just the way he spaces himself and like one thing that I learned a little late in is uh, when he throws it downwards and it like just pops up and down until it stops moving has an active hitbox, which really? means if you 
Remember that I was saying about uh, standard wake up is a one frame window to punch before you can shield? Yeah. Yeah, he tosses bomb there and like he reacts to you doing standard wake up, hits you. You do anything else, he like upbees or whatever, it covers everything for free. Like he can react to it hitting and actually convert off of it. Just the like actual like slow movement. So it's like, like very weak hit that he used for like the infinite. He, if he does it, if he throws it downwards, while it's bouncing, as long as it doesn't stop moving, it, ha it maintains a hit, an active hitbox the entire time. It's really good for ledge trapping. It's really awkward to get around. Uh, get up attacks, I do believe, beat it. But if you do standard wake up, you're gonna get caught by just the bomb moving. It's a uh, it's a hell of a setup. Definitely. That that's that's good to know too. Cause now I think you're right. I have never played orange, and if I could help it, I I really don't want to. <laughs> After hearing that, I wouldn't want to either. <laughs> he's one of those he's one of those guys I'm just gonna admire from a distance, and Black Twins is gonna admire him from the blast zone. That's First a stock gone. Z drop. Oh man. Orange with a bomb in hand is. He's a different character than Orge without it. Yeah. Not to say that he's necessarily like carried by bomb or anything. He's a fantastic player in his own right. Um, and he's not reliant on bomb. He's not reliant on any of his projectiles. Oh yeah, it's like um, he's using them as actual tools instead of like a crutch. And that's what you'll see with a lot of projectile users. They'll just assume, yeah, this guy doesn't know how to deal with projectiles, so I'm just gonna throw all of these out at once and hope that they never touch me. But it seems like Orange is more like, or he's more deliberate with the way he does things. Which you can tell he's he's practiced a lot of his item play. Yeah, some of the setups, even off of like, reverse boomerang, like the insurance boomerang, he's so aware of of all his projectiles and, and what functionality they have and what they cover. And he doesn't, uh, wow, he doesn't fish for anything either. Yeah, he's always content to just play his game. Like, I've seen him down, like, two stocks, still ch chilling on the other side of the stage, waiting for you to come over and do something stupid. Even if he didn't blow it up there, if uh, Black Twins had jumped in, he would definitely would have got hit there. Oh, yeah, that, that's it for Black Twins. Wow. That was, uh, what do you do about that if you're Roy? Save your jump at all times. Oh, yeah. Even then, though, like we saw, um, Black Twins had a chance to to actually use use the jump and make it back, but the the bomb was on that platform right above him, and the explosion was so big. Oh no, there it is! Wow, and he got the bomb explosion. Oh, I think that's it. That yeah, was wow. Crazy. That was such a strong conversion. The Z drop combo into uh, that that just that single arrow, that single wooden arrow was just enough to do him in. That's nuts. I. Yeah, no, Orange. I, you're you're the man and all that, but like, please don't don't do that to me. I, don't play me. <laughs> yeah, no, I've had my fair share of it. It's a. Uh, I play a sortie, a slower sortie than Roy. It's oh, hard to get in. It's so hard to get in. Ike. Yep. I At mean, least with Ike, I, you know, there's those uh, like aerials into Kilgan frames. You know, safe space aerial pressure where the threat is I'm either safe on block or I get a conversion that kills. With Roy, it feels a lot of like, I think he has like Nair 1 confirms, but not super safe on shield. Hitting the tip isn't super safe either. So like, it's, you want you get in on Link, you want to stay in and respect the fact that he has up the other shield. If he reads what you're going to do and you're anywhere around him, there might be a hitbox that he has that you're not ready for. Also, Link in his own right can be very safe on shield. It's, uh, oh, yeah. it's interesting. A, a character with a, that's a zoner, has a project like a grabbable item projectile. He's got amazing kill potential, amazing out of shield. He's his only thing he's lacking in is dash speed. Not a very fast character. Yeah. And uh, so he's got some blind spots, like above him diagonally. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I think I was talking a little bit too much about uh, about orange. Yeah, Black Twins is real good. <laughs> people people forget that. I think it's just because it's like. It's just sort of assumed that Black Twins is always going to be really good, like, at all times, so you don't really ever talk about it. Yeah, he's got that legacy where it's like, locally, oh, wow, Black Twins won a major. This guy's blue, right? Same thing every time. Same thing every month. They have a regional. Um, he's, he doesn't get upset very often. He's a very solid, fundamental player, and one thing people don't talk about enough, he may play a bunch of characters. Uh, but damn, he's a very smart player. Yeah. Just, he knows what he wants and how to do it. Um, I think the, he struggles 
with a few things here and there. Like, Orange, in a weird way, has been one of his demons. Really? Yeah, he's, uh, well, for someone of his caliber, uh, again, wow, amazing spacing on the forward tilt, uh, and good recognition that he wasn't going to snap the ledge right away. But um, Orange has taken quite a few sets off him in the past, at weeklies and monthlies. Um, I might be speaking incorrectly here, but if I were to wager, I think he has the best record out of anybody in Ontario against Black Twins. Over, even over like uh, Riddles? I believe so. Um, and maybe if we count early on JW. But um, if we're talking like start of the new year, like start of 2019 on, um, I think Orange might have the most wins on him. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's true. I'll have to talk to the stats guy about that one, but it's yeah. crazy how all it took was one Roy F smash to get us to start talking about how good Black Twins is. <laughs> the one move that kind of gets memed on, like, he's got his down tilt, sets up into tech chases. He's obviously going to go for that. But um, no, both these players are absolutely incredible, and it's, it's always a treat watching them play. Oh, no. Wow. That, Orange really just turned that entire that entire stock around. Yeah, super, you can tell super quick with the eye roll from Black Twins. He was that was just a really sloppy recovery. Yeah, for uh, sure. He was swinging from a position he had no right swinging from. Yeah, and Link's gonna Link's gonna take that all day. Like I, as most people who are like who play those characters that are big on item play things like that, you're gonna get ledge traps. So you're, not only does your recovery game have to be nice, but you also have to be mindful of those options you're using off ledge and. Black Twins has been a little bit slappy this game three. I Double sour I... spot, only 8%. The story of Roy. But if he hit those sweet spots, oh, yeah. been, uh, he would have flied across the stage. It's a pool noodle. It really is. It's a pool noodle, but like at at the very hilt of it is just like a gun. Yeah, it feels like one too. Like the sound effect. Oh, like, yeah. Like my ears would be rumbling if he hits it. Hearing Roy's sword is probably one of the most satisfying things to get hit with hits with. Oh wow! Ooh. Big call out there from Orange. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. That was a that's a very brave option. Link is a hero. You know what? You got me there. Yeah, that's that's a real conversion. Oh, I'm surprised he was able to get a shield grab off of that. Ooh, I thought we were gonna see. Uh, I thought we were gonna see another F smash because Orange was actually in a similar situation. That first stock, where he was sort of jumping in and Black Twins was just standing there menacingly. Oh, that was a kill. I think. I think he could have upbeat that. Maybe, no but jump. it doesn't matter. Black Twins didn't have a jump, and he's gonna fall 3-0 to Orange. That was a hell of a set, for sure. I mean, 